marketing ideas that can help college athletes' mental health problems. These videos, this video will bring ideas and tips that can be used in today's college athletic programs to benefit them from struggling with mental health. In 2019, the NFL and NFLPA agreed to provide more mental health, mental health resources available to players. Each team is required to have a behavior health clinician at the team facility for eight to 12 hours per week. Barbara Roberts was referred to the players for part-time by Anthony Casalaro. Barbara Roberts met with Washington's rookie class to go over training skills that are mandated by the agreement between NFL, the NFL and the Players Union. Barbara read an article about a football player who had a DUI in a car accident. She wanted to know who treats them who started making and started making phone calls to NFL teams. Roberts was the only seventh out of 32 teams with a PhD in psychology. One of the problems with college athletics today and mental health are resources. All colleges have nutritionists to keep track of nutrition, care for athletes, and team physicians to keep record for players' injuries, and no psychologists. College teams usually rely on student counseling for those problems, but a student counselor has nowhere near enough knowledge as psychologists who've been trained and studied for, and studied for years. Psychologists' roles in coll collegiate programs are increasing, but psychology programs are not offered in, as coursework in colleges. Only schools such as North Texas, Bloomington, and Indiana offer doctoral level psychology with grad training and experience. No matter what division in the NCAA athletics department, it is important for this physician to know the culture they have been placed in so they can understand the stressors, interests, body languages, and team dynamics. Someone in this position could have experience as a student athlete, coach, or pre-doctor intern. This experience offers so much observations, learning opportunities, and familiar backgrounds so the psychologist can care for the athlete. Former athletes who have struggled with mental health and who are currently are too, Michael Phelps, Naomi Osaka, Terry, Brush, Terry Bradshaw, Serena Williams, and Lindsey Raisman, and so on. Michael Phelps, one of Michael Phelps' best quotes was, the hardest thing to understand is you can't put mental health as, on a timeout. After Michael Phelps' second DUI, Michael Phelps went to an inpatient treatment center where he learned skills to help him cope with his depression. While he still struggles sometimes, these skills have helped him to continue moving forward. Naomi, a tennis star who was making headlines for decided not to participate in any post-action conferences in the French Open and would later withdrew from the tournament. One of the many athletes with anxiety and depression, Osaka was cited for mental health reasons for not wanting to partake in the news conference. She continued to speak up about mental health sports as well as racial injustice. Terry Bradshaw is a former NFL quarterback who'd become, who is who a football analyst and actor. But Terry Bradshaw used to drink and usually and knew alcohol wasn't helping. After starting medications for depression, the former Pittsburgh Steeler quarterback was able to better manage his symptoms and, 